compound interest gives us an example of exponential functions. Let's take a look. A principle of a P is invested it earns an annual interest of R compounded N times annually. Then the value of this investment after T years is Q of T equals the principal times one plus R divided by N to the power of nt. So if you're earning, let's say, 2% interest, and that interest is compounded four times per year, you are not earning 2% interest four times per year you are earning that 2% interest spread out over four compoundings. So that's why we divide R by N. As for the N up here, every time we multiply by this, we compound interest. If T is one, we've compounded interest N times. If T is two, two years have passed, we compound interest N times per year. Then we compound interest N T times. Applying this formula is very plug and play. You invest. <laughs> I always roll my eyes a bit at these examples. I don't know if you all have $30,000 um, lying around to invest. I'm sure I don't. But let's say you do invest $30,000 at a 2.7% interest rate. compounded quarterly. Then the value after T years is cute. And now we're plugging and playing the principal 
is $30,000. The interest rate must be expressed as a decimal. Quarterly means four. It's being compounded four times per year. And here's our exponential equation. And we should simplify this just a little. One plus point zero two seven divided by four is one point zero zero six. Six seven five. So thirty thousand times one point zero zero six seven five to the power of 40. <laughs> and there's our answer. Um, let's make the observation. You wouldn't traditionally simplify this any further. But what about this for? I mean, when we defined exponential functions, there weren't numbers up. Here. Isn't this for a problem? But no. We could rewrite this as one point zero zero six seven five raised to the fourth raised to the power of t. Then go back to um, Wolfram Alpha, 1.00675 raised to the four. Uh, my internet just cut out, but let's get this back. And let me just pause. I am copying this down. Share that document camera. And we get this. So even though our formula for compound interest has this N up here, and even though when we defined exponential growth, there was no N to be found up here. That isn't a genuine problem. If you wanted to, you could take something like this and rewrite it as a times b to the power of t.